What's up guys, it's Average Joel here and today we're going to take a look at Elgato's most recent announcement about their new products that they've got to help streamers and content creators make much better content. There's been a lot of talk about whether it's actually new stuff that they're releasing or whether they've just taken all the old stuff and made it better. So we're going to take a look now and see what we think, uh, how much it costs. Uh, who it's going to benefit the most because a lot of streamers now have upgraded to the SLRs and other audio interfaces and stuff like that and whether it's worth switching to what Elgato have got to offer we're going to take a look from the average streamer's point of view or from possibly a new streamer who's looking to get into it so let's take a look and see how it goes Right then, so here we are on the Elgato website. We're going to have a look now at some of the products they've released and see what we think of them and whether they're going to help the new streamers, whether they're going to improve what intermediate streamers have or even some of the better streamers that are still using webcams and stuff. Have they released anything worthwhile? So let's take a look. And don't forget, if you like this video, please click that like button below. It mean a lot. Okay. Right then, so first off, let's go and check the Wave XLR. The newest thing that's come in, in my opinion, they've put it in to rival the Go XLR, which is very popular at the moment. A lot of streamers have a Go XLR and a lot of people, a lot of streamers are using the XLR microphones. All in all, XLR is supposed to be the best type of microphone you can get. However, saying that, there is a lot of ways you can make USB microphones sound just as good. So we take a look at the XLR from Elgato. It's got a volume wheel to control the volume of the mic and your gain. You've got your headphone slot. You've got 48 volt power, which is good for all those microphones that need a cloud lifter. You won't need one with this. You should provide you enough power to broadcast. You've got a mute button on the top. All in all, it's a solid little looking device. Have Elgato done the right thing here? Yeah, in my opinion, it's a, it's a nice looking product. The thing that's going to sway most people now is going to be the price of it. So, I'm crossfade between mic and PC, make sure toggle phantom power, adjust the output volume and set the gain. Mute button on the tar. XR, USB-C, which again, a lot of these places now are coming out with USB, which is a lot better than a micro USB connector. You also get custom face plates. So all in all, looks good. Oh, it's also got a clip guard as well. That's fancy. But anyways, the biggest, biggest, biggest thing with this is going to be the price. Go XLR, from what I remember, comes in at £140. The Mini does, not the full size, the Mini. The original big go xlr is around 350 pound so 160 pound that's a bit pricey for my liking however it's a good little bit of kit would you have it over the go xlr i probably wouldn't because i prefer having my sliders and seeing what's going on i can instant mute individual sources and i haven't got to worry about trying to swap between stuff with the software because the big thing about the Elgato Wave XLR is the fact that you use the software the Wave Link software with it which is what they use on their USB mics on the Wave 1 and the Wave 3 and the software meant you can do what you do with the Go XLR put all the sliders up and you control all your mixes which you send, then send out to your headphones or to the stream so, yes, I was saying about sliders on the Go XR. The Wave software gives you sliders on the actual PC. To me, you probably just set the sliders up and leave it to go. I personally prefer having the sliders there so I can just adjust stuff on the fly without having to tab out a game, but out of the stream, go up, adjust, and come back. So, my point. I do like the Go XLR and I like the look of this Elgato Wave XLR, but for me, having the Go XLR, I prefer it. Some people might not want all these sides, some people might just want to set stuff up and then go. But for 20, 30 quid less, I'd have the Go XR Mini over the Wave. So, 
we'll see what Elgato can do to try and improve on that. But overall, not a bad starting product. The other two products they brought in in the audio range are the two mic arms. Which, I mean, this is my arm, it's, it's a mic arm at the end of the day. It looks nice, it looks very sturdy. They've got loads of different counterweights in it. It's got a good reach. It's got nice little cable channels that the cables can float down on. So it can hide your cables. Detachable riser and the clamp. Clamp's a big thing these days because everyone's clamping stuff to the desk. And you use the microphone like that. Comes over your monitors, puts the microphone right close to your face, and off you go. So, all in all, solid, solid. And the other one is the low profile. If I can get it to come up, there we go. And this is the mic that comes with a twist that goes underneath your desk. So it's the same as the high profile one, but this one literally folds and comes out underneath your desk. Like so. Great, great bit of kit. All in all, I mean, my arms, what can I say about them? Again, it's all going to come down to pricing. And I know a lot of the prices, and some people won't like the prices. And I know this is probably, knowing Algato is going to be on the pricier side, which is 89 99 so 90 pounds. And is it the same for the other one? I think it is shop now yeah 90 pound for both again this puts it in contest with the road psa which i think is about 70 to 90 pounds and the blue compass which i think is more than 100 pound but i'll have to double check and i'll throw that in the video all in all great solid looking products however i've got a 20 quid microphone arm here probably should upgrade it at some point I like the idea of having the XLR cable go through the channels rather than just hanging down. Would I upgrade to this? Yeah, I probably would if I had the money, but for now my 20, 30 pound arm works fine. It's not the best for holding up this heavy pod mic, but it is a great little arm. And I would like to upgrade to something like that because that just looks so much more sturdy and it looks like I'll be able to support the pod mic a lot better. So. Yeah, well done Elgato, that looks like another good, good product. But Elgato do, they have good products. You look at their cam links, you look at their uh, capture cards, 4K60. All in all, they're all good products, so it's not like them to release a cheap product. Which, again, brings me on to my next one, the face cam. The 1080p webcam, 60 frames a second from Elgato. This is something streamers have been screaming out for for a very long, for as long as I've been streaming and probably even longer. Decent webcam. Hopefully the price isn't going to be too much, but Elgato will they'll put the price, but the quality is there. So it is worth paying the price. I mean, there's eight reviews on it already and it's 4.9 star. Now. I haven't had a chance to get hands on and personal with this. Send me some Elgato. But, yeah, I mean, it looks good. You know, you look at the size of the lens, the bits and pieces in it, it, it just looks like, you look at your typical webcam. So if I've got my C920, which I've got here, the C920, that's a C. But you look at the lens on the C920, it is tiny, small, and that's the thing with webcams, they're made to be just little things so you can see a bit of video. And don't get me wrong, you can make the C920 look good, which a lot of streamers have done, and I personally myself got it looking quite good with some decent lighting on it, but it's just not quite that streaming broadcast quality that you want. But then you look at this. I mean, oh, are we going to get, oh, we get a full breakdown. Got the prime lens, 24 mil, 2.4 focal aperture. Nice. So you might have a little bit of blur, a bit of the bucket effect, if you will. Oh, 
a custom heat sink so it never overheats like some cameras do flash memory advanced image engine and a usb c ah oh, usb c's i love usb c's all in all and they are pop it on top of the monitor that's great there you go on top of a mac okay put it on top of a mac if you really have but the thing with this and what a lot of streamers will some just like to put a webcam up click auto and it's done but you've also got the manual settings you can change like your exposure your saturation your sharpness your shutter speed what else can you change the zoom the field of view so you can turn it up and down there we go there's a better picture i can actually see it's just so it's very intuitive and you can get some really good looking quality from what i've seen again i haven't seen any of these products hands-on but this is what i feel as an average review of them i mean look at that is that the difference i mean that's cool as hell and the 60 frames a second is a big thing because the scene on 20 is only 30 and it really struggled when i had it up trying to match with the gameplay you'd see me do that and it that you could tell the difference so yeah i love the look of it looks good big question now what is the price Ooh, 189.99 so let's put this into perspective then new streamer starting out probably looking at a c920 for around the 90 pound mark i got my c920 for 40 quid in an amazon prime deal so i didn't do too badly there but for 189 so if it's 90 pounds brand new it's near enough double and a bit the quality looks double and a bit better than the c920 also if you want to stack it up against a dslr i bought my canon eos m50 for 300 pounds off of a friend that's second hand comes with the kit lens which you're currently looking through and what all my videos are shot through and that, that's 300 quid straight away if I want to get any more lenses, that's going to be at least 100 plus on top if I want to get different lenses for it. So this camera is coming out to really appeal to those who don't really want to spend the money on a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. So I can see what they've done here and I like it. The price, I mean, all prices could be cheaper, but for the quality you're going to get, I mean, just look at it. Crafted for creators, that seems to be the big thing across the whole brand. Well, the one thing I did want to go with, especially for the new streamers or for the people looking just to step up from the webcam, is the phone cameras. I will put a few videos over the top now with my phone camera. I use, I've got a Samsung S21 Ultra and I was using my phone camera through the IV cam software to stream with, which was great. No problems with it, the image quality is banging, love it. However, I used to get phone calls, and text and stuff and you just hear the phone go zzz, zzz, on the side while you're trying to stream it'll come up over there and people are like is that your phone going yes that's my webcam face palm so i needed to change and i bought myself an eos m50 had i not known they were releasing this face cam i probably would have gone for the face cam because it's just nice convenient whack it up top and it's done dusted perfect but yeah for the new streamers i do recommend checking out the phone apps i know elgato do an epoch cam which is mainly for the iphones i don't think it works on android but android have got a camera a software called iv cam which i will post a link to the video of me setting it up and you can have a look at using that because the iv cam works very well and it served me well so if you do want to step up from the webcams and go a bit higher quality have a look at the phone camera and use that because it's in your pocket and it's doing nothing back it up give it a try it may work for you but check the description i will put the link in and have a look at setting up iv cam and give it a go because honestly it is worth it definitely is worth it so we've done the face cam we've done the audio what else came out oh the stream deck stream deck stream deck mark 2 I had one of these. I had a Stream Deck Mark 1. Loved it. 
didn't use it properly. Didn't get the use out of it that I probably should have. I had my OBS set up to switch scenes and that was it. I used the soundboards at first and got rid of them. And I just, I just didn't use it to its full potential, so I gave it away to someone. However, looking at this Mark II, I mean, it's the same as the first one. They've added a better stand onto it because the other stand wasn't the best, it was a bit flimsy. And they've put customizable face plates on it, which again, it's great. You can fit in with your perfect self. I mean, look, loads of different graphics you can put on. So let's see, it's got to be the same price. It can't be any higher. Either the same price or lower. My stream deck I picked up in an Amazon Prime deal again. Amazon Prime deal. Gotta love it. And that must have been about £90. So 140 Oh, and you can choose some nice little plates. I wonder if you can print your own. Hmm, that's intriguing. So £140. To most streamers, do you really need it? Probably not. I would personally look at the Mini because the Mini is not going to set you back much. And of 90 quid, oh, mm, I'll be changing my answer there. Because what you've got to remember is you can have these as different folders and then inside you can have, so you could have that as your OBS folder and set up your scenes in there. And then you could have that as your Twitch folder to do custom command. And with the 15 deck one, 15 button deck one, obviously you've got loads of different folders and different actions you can do. And they are good, don't get me wrong, but I just personally didn't get the use out of them. And now, streaming, I just go between my live and my full cam screen, and that's it. So I don't really see the need of them. However, I have been looking at the loop deck and the stream deck and thinking, do I get one of them and go back to it? So, for new and existing, yes, I definitely would say have a look at getting one. If you're the one who likes to put funky stuff in your streams and put different commands in, Saves all the time alt tabbing out and going on to Twitch and doing all the bits and bobs. And plus, you could set up a startup routine where you press start streaming, your lights come on. It, it's a good bit of kit. It always has been. So, we'll leave that at the stream deck. And now, for the final thing that I saw was this wall mount, which I thought was very, very clever. Because not a lot of people wall mount anything these days anymore. It's all desk clamps. And these wall mounts just look like a good bit of kit because you can put a few things on them you now you put your camera up there out the way put your lights up at the moment i've got a light shoved on my desk and i haven't got much desk space so once i finish this the lights come off so you know you could do that i mean that's a nice little smart idea because most streamers the desk is against the wall i mean it's 30 pounds what can i say to that it's probably about going right so I definitely recommend looking at those because as you just get stuff off your desk. I think I am going to get some actually. I want one there, one there. Right then guys, so my thoughts on the Elgato announcement. They've done good. They've, they've smashed it out of the park in my opinion. They have really started to change the game and they are definitely making products for the new listing and the bigger streamers who really want to make something out of their content the stuff i've seen released is really good and it looks good quality and hopefully i'll be able to get a look at some up close and personal one day maybe but yeah um so yeah i hope you've enjoyed my average review of these products in question and hopefully we'll get to see more products on the channel if you have enjoyed the video please click the subscribe button below and leave a comment in the description telling me what's your favorite most favorite product by Elgato or are there any better products out there that Elgato didn't quite hit the mark on so yeah thank you guys for watching hope to see you again soon peace out